So yesterday, as you know, if you follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and things like that, uh, you would know that I was in a gown and had a bloody pick line in my arm, and I'm oh, not a pick line, just a needle in my arm, etc., etc., because I went in for a day procedure yesterday. Now, um, it's all related to how I've been, like, internally wise lately, uh, with the whole gluten thing, and it's just food just setting me off, and all the lactose and whatnot. So I went to my doctor and said, hey, can you give me a referral to be able to go and get myself um, checked out, fixed up, blah, 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 blah. She gave me a referral, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, had to go in and have a gastroscopy, which is where they take a, a, a long tube that's got a camera on the end of it and little bits like that, stick it down your throat. And this is going to sound a bit duh, but a colonoscopy as well, because they need to take biopsies from this side as well as that side. So, yes, I got, I got the tubes. Woot, 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 everywhere yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it was pretty cool. Well, not really cool because I'll tell you why it's cool. I've never had a procedure before. Um, you know, I, it, my sister was sick last year and bloody blah, 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 this and that, and this and that. I've never been ill. My, my extent of my injuries has been the scar over my eye, a broken elbow, a burnt arm, and my back. That is it. I've never had anesthetic. I've never been under. I've never had to experience any of that. So I was quite nervous yesterday, but here's the cool part because once I eventually got into there and things like that, and I'm sitting in my robe, <laughs> and uh, this is when I'm in the waiting room, the lady comes in, she's a nurse, she's taken all my details, done my blood pressure and whatnot, she goes, okay, here you go, get changed, here's a robe for you, you can leave your shirt on, put the robe on, tie it up at the back so your ass doesn't hang out, and that's it. So I had to strip down. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing on except for my Jurassic Park shirt. And I've got this robe on, I'm sitting in this seat in this waiting room, this little dinky ass waiting room that has like 10 seats in there. There's four other people in this waiting room, all in the same, male and female, all the same. We're all sitting there, butt naked from the waist down, with just a freaking shirt and this gown on. And we're all making small talk to pass the awkward conversation. Uh, it's just the, the awkward moments of the conversation, just yeah, anyway. Waiting there two hours as you do because I went to a public clinic instead of a private clinic because it cost that a little bit cheaper and I ain't paying extra money for a private clinic just so I can go faster. Waiting, it's fine. Anyway, came to be my term. They take me into the operating theatre, lay me on my side. So I'm laying on my side and they've comforted me all up. They've put a brace behind me so I don't roll off the back of the bed and they've got pillows and everything. And Ethan just comes in and he puts on the the... Um, the needle in my wrist. Now the reason they put it in the wrist is because I had blood taken earlier on the day in this arm and they said they couldn't use that vein anymore. So they took it from this little wrist here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, there it is. It's bruised like a bitch underneath, I will tell you. It's so anyway, talking to the doctor, talking to Ethan, talking to the two nurses that are in there. And next thing you know, I wake up. I didn't get the cliche countdown from 10 or anything like that. It was just like I'm having a conversation with these people, getting ready to do what I have to do, and I'm, yeah, getting pumped. I'm like, psych myself into it. All right, I'm gonna get pulled under, I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna count to 10, I'm gonna pass out like number eight, and then I'm gonna, I just woke up. That was it. Woke up, procedure went fine, no issues at all, and I'm laying there and I'm like, <laughs> my stomach, the crampage that I had in like this area here, just above belly button, some serious stuff. Nurse comes in and checks on me when I wake up because she hears me. She's hear me. I'm like, she hears me. She comes in like, you're all right. And I go, yeah. She goes, welcome back. You're waking up, blah, 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 blah. You're, everything went fine. Just lay here. You're in recovery at the moment. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And I'm just like, oh, I really need to go to the toilet. And she goes, you're not allowed to move yet. You only just woke up. You can't move for at least another 15 minutes because you won't be able to walk because of the anesthetic. And I'm like, I've got this pressure in my butt at the moment of this pressure that's pushing down coming from my gut. And I'm like, I really need to go to the toilet. She goes, you don't. She goes, what it is, there's extra air trapped in there. When they put the uh, uh, uh in the uh, uh, uh and the <laughs> she, <laughs> she goes, there's just extra air in there. She goes, you need to fart. And I'm just like, 
What? <laughs> she goes, you don't need to go to the toilet. You need to fart. And I'm just like, there is no way I'm going to fart with you present. I go, I know it's a natural thing, but my mum raised me with morals and she would be mortified if I farted in front of you. And she goes, love, it doesn't matter. We have so many patients come through here every day doing the exact same thing that you get done. This is what's going to happen. You need to fart. And I'm just like, well, fuck it then. <laughs> it's like, toots my goots as I go. So anyway, I'm laying there on my side. Perfect angle. Raise the knees a little bit. The airways are open. The arseways are open. <laughs> I'm talking the best farts I've ever had in my life. Oh my God. So much air just trapped in there. Seriously. If I was in a symphony, I could have been the trumpet player because my ass was just like. And I'm just, just going to town. And I'm just, just going absolutely to town. I'm rubbing my stomach at the same time, just going, ah, oh, my arse is just going, <laughs> like this. Seriously, you could have rode the wave of my butt cheeks because they were just going, ah. It's, but yeah, it was just a very surreal, <laughs> surreal freaking experience. And yeah, even, even going into last night, yeah, the doctor said, because Anus uh, took me to yesterday and she had to drive me home because you're not allowed to drive after you wake up from out of city. The doctor says, he has an excuse. Uh, I'll even write a certificate if you want that he can fart and burp as much as he wants. So you can't say anything to him tonight. Yeah, so anyway, I'm toots my goots on the way home. I'm toots my goots laying in bed last night. Yeah, but I got home last night and I just crashed pretty much straight away. Just fell asleep at 7, woke up at like 2.30, stayed up until about 6, and then fell asleep again, woke up at 12 or so, and then everything was alright. Uh, very good doctor, I have no discomfort at all, didn't even know that there were tubes in places that tubes are not supposed to go, no, no numbness or harshness or anything like that. Yeah, but I just thought I'd give you a little heads up, because a lot of you asked yesterday as I was posting the pictures of me in the robe and the gown and things like that, if everything was okay. Uh, everything is okay. Uh, I've got preliminary results. Basically says, don't have cancer, don't have this, don't have that. Um, I have to wait until about like another week or so to find out the actual proper results to see if my intoler what my intolerances are and just all this other stuff. Um, the only bad thing that I saw on the preliminary report is that um, I've got some stomach ulcers and that's a direct result of the back medi medication I've been taking for all these years and I'm low on iron so they've got to give me a iron infusion in a, in a week or so so I'll be iron man. Yeah, but anyway, I just thought I'd give you a heads up and let you know what was happening. Yeah, that I was toots my goots yesterday. Seriously. I'm not just talking like little farts, I'm talking like, you know when you're a kid and you go like this and you're like, and you're like, <laughs> with your friends, it was those kinds of farts, just full on things lasting for 10 seconds. I was the fart master, okay? The fart master. It was just, best farts I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. That's a nice little story for you. Sorry if it was a little bit too graphic or if it made you queasy or whatever, but hey, that's life and you gotta have these things done as you grow up. So, anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the old thumbs up button, subscribe, share buttons down below, all the good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you on later. Bye.